This year we decided to go looking for the gray tree frogs and boy did it pay off. It was one of the best decisions that I ever made the entire year. Hello, Mr. Frog. After moving about a half mile down the field, we located our first eastern gray tree frog. Pretty meaningful. You know, this is also hard. A lot of people don't understand. It's almost like if you lost your dog, like if they died and then you had to go out and film the same species, the same yeah. gender, uh, just because I lost my gray tree frog. It was really a devastating moment to have to deal with all that. This guy was one of the most well-behaved eastern gray tree frogs that I've ever seen. It almost seemed like he was content sitting on my hand. It was one of the most lively nights out at this location. Not only were the gray tree frogs calling for mates, but the American toads were still breeding in the vernal pools nearby. It's always so much fun to see two of our target species sharing the vernal pool and calling alongside one another. It's always amazing to see the American toads and the gray tree frogs at the same time. And guys, there is an eastern gray tree frog. So yes, that is one of the eastern gray tree frogs calling. This is interesting to take note of because this is just a random vernal pool and it probably was created last year. I don't believe that this has been here. The American toads love it. I mean, there's probably multiple clutches of, uh, or clusters of American toad tadpoles that are in here. They were once eggs though. And the gray tree frogs are just everywhere in here. I didn't think that many would, would congregate out here in one place, but we easily have around five to seven gray tree frogs here. You're just looking at the one that we filmed on a Facebook Live. So this is a beautiful species. As I was saying, this is at the top of the list. It's one of the most important animals that we focus on for PA Woods and Forests, trying to do conservation projects. It's a very special species to me, as you guys know from the Gray Army on the PA Woods and Forest YouTube channel that we keep these guys. It's also a very difficult time, especially for me, uh, filming these guys because we just lost Bane and it's a very uh, difficult process just going through because 
I'm not used to losing pets like that. So it's just a very raw moment to get the chance to film the same species and the same gender as the pet that I lost. But I know that doing this and doing conservation projects like this with maintaining the species um, would be the best way to honor him. So doing something like this, finding their population and trying to help them further their uh, species out here is the best thing that we can do in honor of a great tree frog is to care for other great tree frogs. So you guys are holding an eastern great tree frog. It's been an incredible night. We're out here just filming. So thankful for the opportunity to find these frogs and actually find their population and know that they're thriving in an area that was strip mined no, no later than a year ago at this time. They were finishing up. They were throwing the hay down or the straw, whatever it was, to seed all of this grass. But anyway, for you guys, I mean, Tyler, you were here last year when we made the discovery, but what are your thoughts just hearing how spaced out and how abundant the gray tree frogs are tonight in this population? I think it's, inc it's comp incredible compared to last year, actually seeing them and like where they breed, just as opposed to seeing a couple on the sides of the road. Yeah. I mean, especially because you're from Cambria County too. I mean, what are your thoughts that we were the first herpers, conservationists, whatever you want to call us, uh, to find a population, a breeding, like living, not just, you know, a couple frogs. Like this is a def defined population. Yeah, I think it's always cool when you get a county record like this because this is really the only place in the county you can see them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The fourth or the fifth gray tree frog that we have shown you that she is holding in her hand. Beautiful guys. These are all male gray tree frogs. I don't know when the females are going to show up. Tonight was definitely one of the most successful hunts we've ever had looking for gray tree frogs. They were everywhere and it was amazing to see them battling and dueling with each other. If you've never heard a gray tree frog duel, just sit back, relax, and listen to this. It's pretty epic. So Rhea, we're back here at Ed's Pond and we had quite the year. Uh, it has been very interesting. Um, as far as I knew, they were just breeding in my pool and now we know that they are breeding all over the place nearby um, and there are lots and lots of them. I grew up here, so um, I mean, even when I was a kid, I didn't know that all this was here, um, but it's it's crazy to, to know that they're here. but. Um, I'm, I'm just really glad that they're thriving and that we can continue to keep a good habitat for them. If you start looking, you will, you will find that there is a whole lot more than you thought was there. Um, for years, I thought that all I had was one or two frogs that liked to lay eggs in my pool. And, uh, and then we met and you introduced me to the the world of frogs and toads and uh, and and now we know where to look and there's just there's always a whole lot more than you think is there once you start looking thanks guys for watching this episode of frog week continue to watch like and share with your friends and subscribe for more frog week content thanks to all our sponsors and we'll see you in the next one